Do you remember that? Remember what? Do you remember the first time you kissed someone? I don't know. Why would you even ask me something like that? I don't know. You're weird. You know that. Maybe that's what you think. But really, don't remember anything about it. I don't know. I mean, I remember the person, I remember the place, even a bit of the feeling too. But no. I don't remember it properly. What about you? Do you remember all of it? I remember how bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you love her? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if I could have ever loved have someone back then. Could I you could tell them how much you loved them? Even believe it in yourself, but I doubt if if we could have ever loved someone back then. We were more capable of love back then than now. What makes you say that? When we were younger, we would just fall for the person. We would never weigh our options or then fall for someone. You know, it it more or less just happened. I think, I think with every passing person, I'm less capable of love. Sometimes, sometimes I feel bad for the last person I fall in love with. Because by then, I don't think I would believe in love anymore. I don't think you can restrict love like that. I mean, you can't define it or confine it. It's, it's more of discovery, like a process. You know, something you learn from. It's like a test you will fail if you study for. Maybe. Maybe. You were red. You like me. Because I'm blue. You touched me. And suddenly I was a lilac sky. And you decided that purple just wasn't for you. It's just so difficult to be just the same. Like, it's not even about being the same. It's about being together and being the same. I think I think that's when you know you love somebody. But people will change, I mean, they have to. I think it's all about accepting that change and still living with it. Yeah. It's like you think you know someone. It's like you think it's red. You even wish it's red. But it's not. Yeah. That happens most of the time. I mean, knowing it's not red but purple. And still loving it because purple is beautiful too. Yeah. Purple.
it's my favorite. Do you think? Do you think you'll ever fall in love with me? Maybe if you pay for it. <laughs> no, I mean, did you have you ever fallen in love with someone? Any of your customers? What makes you think you haven't already? <laughs> Only sex here is not even actual sex. There's nothing emotional to it. It's more like a physical exercise I do for money. Most of the times when I'm with my customers, I don't even think about them. It's more like a physical response than a conscious decision. Why do you do it then? It's very simple. The money. Money for what? The university. I study literature. And finally? None yet. What are you trying to do after college? I don't know. Never thought about it actually. I don't know, I'll figure out something. Something, something better than this. Don't look at me like that. I don't see this as a sad thing, or you know, even a bad thing. I need money, and this gets me back. While all other people sell their brains and souls for money, I sell my body for it. And if. If you really think that this is such a bad thing, why are you here today? At least there is no illusion. I can be honest to myself. I had this theory in my head when I was a kid. The entire universe is a pinball game, and all the things we see in the game are the people we meet in life. Like how a ball hits something decides where it goes next. Like how when we meet people decides where we go next. We have absolutely no control about it. I mean, look at us <laughs> talking bullshit. We could have been anywhere. But no, we're not. This specific place at this specific time. It's fascinating. But then, who plays the game? I have no fucking clue. fun talking to you No wait What's your name Fee 
No, I mean your real name. 